Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page eight. Page eight of Charm from Graphic 45. So, let's get started. So we should have two of these strips. And I'm gonna have to find my other one. I keep putting things up when I'm not ready to. <laughs> Oh, did I put it in here? No, these are small ones. Here it is. It was mixed in here. I just missed it. Oh, it's stuck to something. Okay, so these are not inked. Sorry, I thought they were. Or at least one of them is, I think. We'll see in a second. So we're going to uh, lay these to the left and right, flush with the edge of the pocket page. And then we're going to add a couple flaps. Okay. That's up. my pencil marks. Okay, now we're going to come in uh, three quarters of an inch and install our flaps. Three quarters of an inch on the edge of the pocket page, not the designer paper. Okay, you're going to need two flaps. These flaps are four and a half by eight. I won't need this for a few minutes. Four and a half by eight. Lovely. And then here is what we're going to be putting on top. Like so. Okay. We can dress this side. We're going to need a magnet over here. So we're going to hold off on that for a, for a moment. Now this is going to get laid on top and this is going to be centered here. So let's go ahead and put these two pieces together. This is five by seven. This is four by six. This is going to overlap and I'm going to use a magnet. So I'm going to go ahead and add my magnet and then we're going to dress the back side of this. 
so that's about centered. So our the paper we need will need to uh, cover this part. I'm gonna put a magnet right there. Eh, a little closer to the edge. Oops, I did that backwards. It's gonna go on this side. Let me think about how this opens on. That's the spine. I want it on this side. I want it to open away from the spine. This is my preference. So we, I did want it on this side, but that's the wrong mark. This mark needs to be here. Because this will, this will be exposed, this side will be exposed when it's open. So let's see, what do we need? I'll tell you. It's gonna be let's do four four by five is what we're looking for roughly so the inside is going to have this in the middle and these on the outside edges and then I'm gonna put something between them so I think I'm gonna reintroduce this. Let's see if I can't find a four by five. Yep, this will work fine. I don't even have to trim it. right side up. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and glue this down. And then once we have this glued down, then we know where we're gonna put our magnet over here. And this is pretty easy to center because it's hard to see right now, but I'll put a contrast here. You're trying to line up the center line with this. Place our secondary magnet over here. Okay, now we can add this. And oh, so it feels like something bigger. I want to, yeah. I was just making sure it was a continuous pattern. It's going to be hard to tell because of the photo mat on the front, but it's still a detail I like to keep an eye out for.
Now, what I think I'm going to add to this is some, well, I've got this pumpkin paper, but I also have um, some star paper. So let's look at that. So we have the pumpkins, or we have this. Well, I like the star better than this, but I don't like star on star. So I think I'm leaning toward the pumpkin. And yeah. So I'm gonna place the orange in the center and put purple on either edge because I want this orange to show here. Okay, so let's find our center line on both the paper and the page. Oops, oh, I swear it feels like something's biting me. So it looks like it's eight and a half. Yep, it's eight and a half, so it's four and a quarter. So there's my center. And I think this is four inches, but we'll find out in just a second, which means two would be my center. Yep. So now we're going to trim this to fit. I think I, yep, I over trimmed that. So let's try again. I think I've got enough to go at it one more time. just a little too small. So I am going to trim another one. So I'm trimming these to fit based on this. This piece was four inches wide. And when you get to page eight, you've used up a lot of your papers. So you have to get kind of creative with color blocking, especially when you're working in a format that's larger than eight inches because you can't just pull in an eight by eight. Even that won't be wide enough. Okay, 
Okay, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. That is page eight. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I still have the cover, the inside liners, and the page installation. So I'm going to try to do all that in the next video. See you soon.